Howdy howdy, in today's video I have added five new bows to the more bows data pack. So let's check them out. All right, so the bows added are the builder's bow, the bee bow, the bridging bow, the shooting star bow, and the squid bow. And you can find all of their recipes on the website or in game. Anyone donating one or more dollars a month on Patreon will have access to the in-game recipes. You can see them right here. Anyway, if that is something you're interested in, check out the iCard in the top right. But onto the actual bow. So the squid bow, when you shoot it, is going to make some black particles appear, and then there's going to be a, a squid ink explosion. And you can see if we summon like a cow or whatever, and we hit the cow, the explosion will cause some wither damage and also give blindness for a little bit. You can see that on ourselves. So we get a bit of wither and a bit of slowness, as well as some blindness. Now, blindness doesn't do a whole lot to mobs. However, on players, blindness is quite effective. As you're not able to sprint while blind, and if you're slow, this is a pretty good bow that would be decent. And uh, like, especially you could, you could hit them with blindness and then come in with your sword and kill them. The bee bow is a very unique concept. Instead of shooting an arrow, you shoot a bee. And the bee will poison mobs. And I just realized I picked out husks, but you can't poison a husk. Here, let, let's try again with cows. Okay, so now with the target, we can actually poison. You can see when we shoot the bee, it will fly through the mobs and poison all of the ones that it gets fairly close to. If it does hit a block, the bee is going to die. And you'll probably have noticed by now, but when you shoot straight, the bee will fly up just a little bit. And so you actually have to aim down a little bit to hit your targets. Kind of a, a unique bow when it comes to aiming them and just the overall uh, ways that you're going to use this bow. And due to having like the pierce effect that I just showed there where it can go through different mobs, that could be pretty useful in certain situations, especially when there's like a lot of mobs that you are fighting. And yeah, it has pretty good range too. And so you can, you can kind of just spam it and shoot lots of bees at your targets. Pretty cool. The bridging bow is a pretty cool concept. When you shoot an arrow, it's going to replace it with a bridge. And you can see uh, it's going to start by placing green blocks and then yellow glass, then orange glass, and then finally red glass, which will disappear. You can use this and run along this path that you've created to get all sorts of places. So you can see I've essentially climbed this uh, whole area with, with this bow. And an interesting thing about this is you can shoot multiple of them at the same time. So you could redirect while in the air and just stay, stay up in the air. It's a bit tricky to make sure you don't run off, of course, but people with at least a little bit of skill should definitely be able to use this to, to great effect. So, wow, cool, I got on top of a tree from way over there. And again, it's going to clean up all of the messes. There's no potential for it to like destroy blocks in the world or whatever. You can see you're not able to shoot through, well, you can shoot through um, the, the trees or whatever. It, they, it can travel through blocks. It just, it's not going to uh, replace any in the world, including glass. So if we had, um, if we had, let's, let's place some green stained glass down into the world, you can see it's not going to delete any of the stained glass. This would be an issue if, if um, I wasn't careful, of course. So, uh, and you can definitely be pretty spammy with this bow. Uh, you can, I, I was noticing you could do some cool stuff where like you could create a wall uh, that's temporary, of course. It won't last for very long, but that could possibly be useful. Oh, and the arrows do have a set range to them. They can only go about 50 blocks. But as we can see, all of the green glass is still here. All right, and now we have the two final bows. These are incredibly cool. I'm gonna save the builders for last because I think it is probably the best bow I've ever added. But the shooting star bow, wherever the arrow lands, will cause a bit of a meteor shower to strike the location. It can deal a little bit of uh, world damage as well as kill mobs, deal, uh, will place fire and stuff. And you can see there's like a, a smoke trail and lots of little meteors. And you can also shoot this one multiple times. It can get a little laggy if you do that, so do be careful. But um, it is seriously cool looking. And um, honestly, not super duper effective in like a player versus player situation because um, not all of these actually deal damage. A lot of them um, I added like they don't deal damage, 
they're just there to look cool. And you can actually, if you're paying close attention, you can tell which ones will deal damage and which ones won't. So, ones that are made out of blackstone, they are going to not deal damage or world damage. And ones that are made out of magma blocks will cause the little world damage and deal uh, damage to mobs. And yeah, I absolutely love this bow. It's great for, like, destroying things and player versus player, sort of. Uh, awesome against, like, a large amount of targets, starting fires. This one is surely going to be a lot of fun just to mess around with and, well, just just to have fun. And, I mean, that's, that's quite a bit of devastation that I just caused with not too many shots. So, again, this one's going to be fairly expensive. We can look at the recipe, um, which you can see is, is decently pricey so yeah all right last and certainly not least is the builder's bow it is extremely cool and i was really proud that i got this code to even work anyway the builder's bow allows you to take a block that is in your offhand and shoot it and it will get placed into the world and so you can see i have oak planks in my offhand uh, the amount will decrease and wherever the arrow hits the block will be placed uh, you do need pretty good aim with this, of course, but you can fill up, like, holes or whatever that you accidentally left in your building. You could also build off of the side and maybe, like, make... I don't know really what I'm trying to make, but... And this works with any type of block in the game. As you can see here, we can, we can place these down. We can maybe put down some TNT. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. You could even use like a flame bow to light the TNT up. You could even place like a gravity block like sand. And uh, sand specifically was a bit tricky to make work. Uh, and that is because, suppose you put like a diamond sword or your pickaxe or whatever in your offhand, you're not going to accidentally lose your pickaxe uh, from this either. So it, it validates that what you're trying to place is actually a block. And so, yeah, pretty cool. Now, I'd have to say anvils are possibly my favorite thing to shoot with this, because, I mean, just imagine shooting an anvil at someone and having it drop on them. That would just be the coolest thing. But I do believe that this works with either every block in the game or very close. I have yet to actually test all of them. However, uh, we could just do some of that. Well, so there's a glass pane. Powered rail, sure, it seems to work. Sticky piston, yep. Bamboo. Oh, yep, yep, that works too. What about a dandelion? Yeah, cool. Snow. Yep. So as you can see, pretty much every block in the game will work, and I think anything that's not actually a block will just not get shot due to how this system works. What about grass? Can we place grass? Yep. So, again, I think this is pretty cool, and I'm really proud of how it turned out. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like on it. Um, I'm pretty close to 10,000 subscribers, so hit that subscribe button, and when we get to 10,000 subs, I'm going to be doing a microwave reveal. <laughs> I don't really know why, but someone wanted a microwave reveal, so I'll, I'll do that. Should be fun. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the very next video. Thanks for watching.